Hello and welcome to Teletour. My name is Igor. I'm a tour guide for a Normandy tour and I will present you today the most lovely villages of Normandy. Beuvranoge in the heart of the Pays d'Auge is really the most lovely village of Normandy. Beuvranoge was able to stay this way and it was completely restored thanks to Michel Verbuggen, the mayor of Beuvranoge and also the uh, economic um, council for the uh, Belgian embassy in France. Michel Vermeugen wanted to create the perfect uh, Normandy village with half timber houses, with some uh, very nice shops. And thanks to his connections, many important friends, and thanks also to the neighboring studs, bringing many billionaires and millionaires in Normandy. Uh, so Beuvron Auge was able to stay like that. It's really the perfect postcard of Normandy. Uh, just here uh, is the Pré d'Auge, one of the best restaurants of France. Usually the waiting list to get a table at the Pré d'Auge, at the Pavé d'Auge, is about six months long. It's really a fantastic place for dinner, long service, but really delicious. And the Beuvron Auge has some crepery, uh, some uh, places where you can have a glass of cider, a coffee, some uh, antiques. It's a really lovely little village, uh, Beuvron Auge close to Dozulé, 15 minutes away from Combremer. Very nice place to spend some time. You really have here the perfect example of a mix of half timber houses, some brick houses, but all perfectly uh, restored. Uh, everything is really manicured here. It's really the perfect uh, place. And all around Beuvron Auge, a lot of uh, uh, wealthy people have a secondary home. You have many horse studs around Beuvron Auge. Some of the most important French and European businessmen have their summer and weekend house just five minutes away from Beuvron Auge. A very private place. Some more of these wonderful half timber houses all along the Normandy small roads. This is really the back roads of Normandy. When talking about the Pays d'Auge, this is what it is about. The Pays d'Auge is actually a place with valleys, hills, uh, a lot of green grass, of course, uh, small hedgerow lanes. And uh, it is a word coming from the old Norwegian, from the Norse, from Viking language, which means a valley. Beuvron Auge, like many other small villages of Normandy, and of the Pays d'Auge, has a small river crossing through. So that allowed to run the press for the, uh, the cider, and it also allowed the, allowed the economy to have uh, businesses like tanneries, uh, different uh, factories, using the power of the small rivers. It makes Normandy so green, we have plenty of rain and a very large amount of small rivers and streams everywhere. Every village uh, in, uh, in France and in Normandy started with a small river. Here in saint pierre Azif, one of the most lovely villages of Normandy, uh, still just above Deauville, Trouville. Here in Deauville, uh, on the coast, uh, on, the, on the beach, uh, Deauville is really the fancy uh, town of Normandy, the Saint-Tropez of Normandy, uh, where the rich and famous come to spend August, or sometimes even more. Uh, Deauville is famous for the American Film Festival, it's a film festival in September, also for the horse uh, racing season, August, 
for the polo tournament, the polo gold cup, a high level polo tournament in August also. So the ville really leaves uh, in the summer, in the weekend also Parisians uh, used to come uh, quite often, uh, even though less in the winter. So the ville uh, attracts quite a few people in the summer. It's a nice place, but very sleepy in the winter time. Very quiet. So here is where I'm driving on the last uh, street by the Normandy Hotel, the, the, the street where the shops are the most expensive and most uh, fashion. So you have Longchamp, Lancel, Prada here. It's a mini uh, Champs Elysees, mini water drive. So Deville is really the, the 21st district of Paris, as we used to say. Parisians love to come here and relax a little bit from the crowd of Paris, but still they can show off uh, a lot. Uh, there are many uh, nice restaurants, uh, bars, and nightclubs, uh, very nice nightlife. And Deauville is also in the heart of the equestrian Normandy. Deauville has some wonderful houses all along the, the beach, here where I'm driving, and the Normandie Barriere is just along the beach, facing the sea. The Normandie Barriere is the place where usually uh, Hollywood stars stay for the American Film Festival of Deauville. Facing the Normandie there is a, a nice uh, a tennis club. Uh, and the uh, Normandy Barrière Hotel Deauville also owns uh, its own golf club. So that's the Normandy Barrière, large hotel, but wonderful place. Deauville is really very famous for its casino, right in front of me, here. So it attracts many uh, fashion designers, Hollywood stars, uh, many actors and celebrities. Uh, when they come to Normandy, they, usually, they stay usually at the Normandie, because it's really the best hotel of Normandy, of the region of Normandy. Many suites, uh, a few restaurants, nice bar and I'm sure you can meet some famous people at the Normandy Barrière in Deauville. Trouville and Deauville are really connected. You have the two river uh, connecting the two towns. So on the other side, here is Trouville, um, not as posh and fashion as uh, Deauville, much more simple, much more affordable and the uh, food is much better so if you want to have a good seafood platter and good fish you should definitely go to Trouville. Trouville has two very nice restaurants Les Vapeurs and Le Central and if you want also you can eat at the seafood market I'll show you that so just in front of you where you have all the lights shining is Les Vapeurs and next to it Le Central so it's really the best place for a nice lunch or even dinner in the summer it gets really crowded and, and uh, loud, and fun, really fun, uh, really fun place for a, a long lunch or a dinner in Normandy, in Trouville. Leave Deauville, Deauville has nothing special except to show off, uh, if you want to show off, okay, no problem. But here, real good food, that's here at Le Central and Les Vapeurs in Trouville. And in front, 
uh, the wonderful beach of Trouville connected with Deauville at low tide. The tide is really low, you can access from Trouville to Deauville at, on the beach. The Trouville fish market, I'll show you what, what you can have, the local fishes, local seafood, and that you can also have a very nice lunch at the Trouville seafood market. So follow me along the stars of the Trouville seafood market. Great, um, it's quite busy in the um, in the summer at the Trouville seafood market and these are what you can find at the Trouville seafood market so nice lobsters uh, sea bass uh, flanders uh, sole dover sole uh, a lot of oysters uh, whelks here are the whelks big whelks this is really the specialty of normandy the normans eat a lot of whelks with mayonnaise beer and cider Crab in Normandy, we also have a lot of Dungeness crab. This is really specialty. So you should have a male. When you buy a crab, you should always ask for a male. The males are much uh, bigger. They have very big clothes. And another specialty of the Trouville uh, fish market is the fish soup. This is uh, uh, Jeannette, uh, really the very famous fish soup uh, of Normandy, of Trouville, made here at the fish market. This is really my favorite fish soup. So you should try that if you come to Trouville in a restaurant, even buy it here and cook it wherever you can. It's even better like that. Very nice scallops. Scallop season has started. Prices here at the fish market of Trouville are quite high. This is a place for Parisians. So you can get much cheaper stuff, but it's really good quality. So very nice local scallops, probably from port en bessin uh, the best scallops can be taken on Omaha Beach, right in front of Omaha Beach, at port en bessin Hupin. It is the best place for scallops. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of the most lovely villages of Normandy, ending here in Trouville. And I hope to see you very soon for another tour with Semi Tour. See you very soon. Bye-bye.